Let's keep this party rolling. Yo, how's it going? Were you about to tell me that I was going to pay for that? I mean, silencers normally get unlimited credit, so that's not an issue, but I've been cut off, you understand, so... It would be an issue. Admire the rest of the scenery. We're actually going to take this teleporter. I don't remember what that switch does, but we're not going to be able to flip it unless we go back through. Hi! How's it going? You have two arms. I don't want to hear it. Flip it. Well, activate it, please. Wasn't anything of merit. Return to work immediately. Fine. Spoil sport. Good save. Hey there. We got a camera coming up. Will I be able to dispatch it without uh, ruining everything forever? As it turns out, yes. Not entirely sure what the purpose of this room is. Kind of reminds me of conveyor belts, though. Even though that's not happening. Looks like beds. It looks like a futuristic barracks, huh? Neat. Keep this party rolling. Looks like. Mm hmm. Also, looks like a monster closet's gonna open up next to us. Perhaps activated by an alarm. Silencer is. There you go. You attacked what I wanted you to attack, and you made me happy. I know that's hard for you to do. Make me happy. I believe you. Take me away. Alright, so... That switch up there. He activated the force field for that elevator. There's also a roaming Susan. It wasn't bothering anyone, but decided to take care of that. And we have the key card for this. Now, we could have gotten this way by, uh, or that teleporter that we took to start the level, by going up north through that force field of door. We could have made it over here, too. But this was quicker. Wouldn't you agree? Probably quicker. I think that door would have led us up to this. It'd be funny if that wasn't the case. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't have, but I'm terribly, horribly wrong. I'm probably terribly, horribly wrong. I don't remember this level that well. Not all the details, anyway. Whatever, doesn't matter. We're here now. We're going this way. And if this way is not the right way, well, I'm about to discover that, huh? Be a rude awakening. Eight eight two. I might remember that. Well, that didn't work out as well as I had hoped. Well, we didn't have to go very far to deliver the passcode, so we're probably fine. He said, chuckling nervously. I committed a bad there. Code red, terminated. Had some energy cubes waiting on the ground for me in case I need them. Big boot. I like fighting just these normal stormtrooper guys. Those elite stormtroopers are a pain and a half to deal with. Oh. 
Moth, I appreciate your action, but now is not the time. How'd you get in? <laughs> I wonder that myself sometimes. <laughs> going on over here? No. Reveal your secrets to me. Tell me. Tell me. This thing lack of secrets. I see you're staying honest. And forthright with everything you do. That's cool. Good luck with the rest of your life. See if I can attract this elite stormtrooper using my mating call. Sounds like pew pew pew. Well, he's certainly active. Don't know whether he's been attracted though. He's playing hard to get. That's. Whatever, we'll roll this way. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Actually gonna grab one of those energy cubes back there. A little bit of backtracking. A minor nudge. Okay, I give up. Great. Incubation room 3A. We just left that. Mm hmm. Now we have. Oh. We have. That monitor probably isn't important. Damn it. No, no, that was important. 911. I'll probably remember that. Oh, we got a roaming Susan. We got a number of other friends. Silencer isn't really sure how to hit them from where he is. They're not firing at us, though. I could, uh... Use a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher, but I kind of wanted to loot their bodies, so you know, as you do. Don't mind me. That camera or that corner is some really great protection. Thankfully, there's no elite standing right there ready to pulverize me. I appreciate that game. That would have been a dick move. Like I said, this mission is definitely nicer than the last one. What, two? Very gentle and calm and soothing. Oh! Hi. Actually, this way takes us back to that room we were at earlier. Yeah, with the force field and everything. It was a terrible idea to come down here, though. If I die, we are not showing this shit off again. I got wrecked. Well, I'm glad we answered that mystery from earlier anyway. It was good to show off to you, the viewers, right? Right. Quick stay. Also a train approaching to celebrate this glorious occasion. Anything else down here? I don't think so. Let's flip the switch and take a ride. I said, flip the switch, take a ride. Win a prize. That prize is totally not going to be any jerks camped out here. It's going to be a footlocker in an inconvenient location. Oh. 
which I'm not gonna bother trying to get that foot locker. I don't recall what's in it, but it can't be of that great value to go through jumping. You're out of your damn mind. He says as he thinks about it. I mean, it's only a minor box jumping puzzle, right? Surely we've proven that the silencer is great at platforming, haven't we? Look at that. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. <laughs> He's perfectly perched on the railing. <laughs> That's how flawless and sublime it is. Impressive. Don't blow yourself up. Now, you might think that getting off of here would be an easy feat. And you'd be absolutely correct. It sure is an easy feat. Look at how I got down from there. No problems at all. But Grimmett, <laughs> we still have a question as to what's in the box. I love how I said I wasn't going to bother with this and then proceeded to bother with it. We're going to stop bothering with it now. I was there. And I voluntarily chose to walk away from it. Yes. That, that's... That will be the story I tell posterity. Mm-hmm. Quick save. The story of how I saved the game. It was a good story. I don't remember what's across the bridge over here. I don't think I need to go over there, though. But I mean, what's life without a little exploration, right? Quick save. We did that earlier and it paid off dividends for us. Right, Wink Wink? I mean, it's an energy recharge station. How'd you get in? There's absolutely nothing bad over here. Look at this. Even a place to deactivate the alarm. Best exploration ever. Ever. I ran right past that dude. It's kind of rude. Quick load. This game. No, I didn't run right past him because he didn't exist. That's not my fault. For a moment, I thought I didn't see him, and I guess that's true. I didn't see him because he didn't exist until I ran past him. Quick save. Let's see that again. He fucking teleports in. It takes us back here. Quick load. Anyway, forget him. This roaming Susan teleports it out of nowhere. I guess by taking the route I did. Four enemies have spawned in. No wonder it was so quiet and peaceful out there. I broke the triggers by taking the path that I did. Damn it. Instead of walking all the way back up to that energy recharge, we're just gonna use that. Well, hey, that means we get to pad our kill count out even- Oh, no, wait. That's... They, these normal stormtroopers don't get added to my kill board for whatever bizarre reason. Oh, no. That footlocker, though. They'll be the one that got away even though it didn't move. Thank you for trying, Silencer. I know it was hard. Hey. What's going on in here? Got any secrets, any prizes? 
I like prizes. Doyle, this new breed of silencer does not have any of the morality problems of the previous generation. Soon, the WEC will be able to crush the pitiful resistance. Oh, due to a possible rebel invasion, the passcode has changed to 603. But what about the 911 code? I mean, totally. That's perfectly valid here, right? What? Code red. Area secure. Authorized access. How dare that be for the road not taken. For the road I traversed in the area, the way that the game triggers weren't all prepared for. Maybe you need to surrender in another location, my dude. I'm blowing up the... No, I don't want to blow them up. I should probably blow them up. But loot! Rises. I hear you, camera. Ah, there you are. Go, spider mine. As your ancestors did. Didn't kill him. That's okay. I'll take care of that for you. You're welcome. Save the game. Don't have to be afraid. Get this way. Hey! I don't, uh... Listen, I... I know how this story goes. <laughs> I've seen this movie. Unfortunately, this movie involves me wasting a bunch of rockets. Or grenades. Don't blow up on me. Yeah, I'll reload the clip. Thoughtful and courteous, I know. I'm a nice guy. You could choose to admire me. I do deserve to have admirers. We'll let you continue to exist. Dick move. Quick load. Dick move. That's it. Everyone pays now. Everyone pays. Probably including me again. But you? You pay. You? You pay. Quick save. Rude game pays extra. There he is, just peeking his head right above, like, my energy bar there. Not okay, game. There's another mech. That didn't work out the way I dreamed. Breaking containers left and right. Let's take care of this mech, too. Zero trust. No remorse, no trust. And certainly no regret. Quick save. Let's proceed. My bad. I said, let's proceed. I bad. <laughs> I said, let's proceed. The first time I thought it was timed, the second time I realized that that's what was going on up there. I'm pretty sure Squint made the same mistake during his uh, playthrough of Crusader No Remorse 2. What's going on back here? Nothing. That's cool. All nice and peaceful. Yeah. 
so the prodigal son returns home. Is that it? Look around you, silencer. I have the makings of an entire consortium army, all without your fatal flaw. And this is only part of what your pathetic resistance can look forward to. <laughs> but it's not too late to return to the fold, you know. I'm certain that Chairman Dragon will approve your early retirement. The Consortium never forgets those who serve them. Code Red, unauthorized entry. Dr. Gregor Hoffman's supposed to have a death scene there, but I think I derailed it whenever I blew him up instead of just shooting him. <laughs> I actually stopped the mad scientist rant. I didn't know I could do that. Neat! I'm, I'm actually very delighted by that. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a shame to miss it for this playthrough, but, I mean, haven't you ever wanted to tell the mad scientist no? So, Dr. Hoffman, there. Suitably looking disturbed and mad. Welcomes the prodigal son home. Says that this new batch of folks are missing this silencer's fatal flaw. Hmm. And also offered us to come back to the WEC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that was a genuine offer. Yep. Should we trust everything that Dr. Gregor Hoffman said? I mean, I blew him up, so I think that... Kill the past. Locked on to you, Tin Man. Five by five. Received your data files and gift wrapped them to Central. I have access to jump pad on level three. It's all juiced and ready to go whenever you are. General Maxis sends destruction of all prototypes imperative. Wizard out. Of course, General Maxis gives me some damn busy work, huh? Anyway, let's open up these chrysalis chambers. It's such a dick move. <laughs> At least I had the foresight to save. Like, I knew that could happen. Anyway, let's go destroy these damn chrysalises. At least the ones in this area. I'm not backtracking anymore. Quick save. Quick save. I know I just saved, but let's save again. Great savings. I know he's out there. You know he's out there. He even showed like a little bit of an explosion around him. He even killed me through that. This level was so nice, too. So nice and friendly and gentle. That it had to do this. For whatever reason, he didn't immediately react to me that time. Whatever. Could you stop making my life difficult? I would have liked to have ended this video before the half hour mark. Seems like it's not my fault you're not playing better. Not 
recall whether this is necessary or whether there's different dialogue if you don't. This is awkward. Was the game expecting me to creep in here? I don't know whether it was. And I don't know whether there's a way to deactivate it once you creep in here. Or you could blow yourself up, Silencer. Yeah, I suppose that's one approach you could take. I think we're trapped in here, though, anyway. We may not have been, but... God damn it, not again. Fuck it. Right, I can't kill people through these gratings because of the reasons. So let's destroy those. Quick save. <sighs> Deep breaths, Grim. Deep breaths. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Only mildly annoying. I miss anything up here out of curiosity. I think I got it all. My teleporter, of course, doesn't activate. Maybe I ruined the stage by, uh... <laughs> killing Dr. Gregor Hoffman to buzz off. That time he reacted immediately. So, he reacts... at varying speeds, perhaps immediately the moment you run onto the screen. Die, Traitor. Die, Traitor. Why am I even bothering with him? Well, I do need to get past him, huh? This way is closed to us. If I can creep on the screen here in a way where he can't blow me up, that'd be pretty cool. Quick load. So, so irritated right now. But I had a nice level finish. It was very poignant. I derailed the mad scientist and everything. And what actually happened was this one guy here has removed the... This level is not rude great. I gave this. It's gone now. I think he got hit. There we go. He's really hit now. Thank you. Rude boy. Your horrific, monstrous positioning. Check it out. Good luck reaching that. I don't think this is one I can roll under. If I shoot these switches enough times, it'll open up a way on the other side. Which hopefully isn't time. Watch me leave. I'm done. Maxis can go destroy the damn prototypes himself. Damn time segment from Dr. Gregor Hoffman's. Hi.
I thought I'd better brief you on the latest developments myself. While you were out in the field, I decided to do my own sweep of the base. I found a consortium comlink hidden in Sergeant Brooks' gear. When I confronted her about it, she jumped me. She teleported out before I could order the base lockdown. I was suspicious of a hate so deep, so loud. If I had acted on my hunch quicker, maybe Colonel Ely would still be here. Okay. So, Dr. Gregor Hoffman has been obliterated. His cinematic dialogue ruined. Never to be seen in the series. Along with the destruction of all those prototypes because of that one rude kneeling asshole and the the security shields that kept well, that decided to turn back on because they're time because of reasons. Because Dr. Gregor Hoffman is a mad scientist who loved to keep everyone on his toes. And my timer has gone over a half hour. Well, my video length. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Oh, and apparently Sergeant Brooks is a traitor. According to Major Vargas. But I mean, on the one hand, you could say the mission she sent us on clearly had great value. Hmm. Really interesting what's happening over there, and clearly that's a thing that we needed to deal with. On the flip side, you don't suppose Major Vargas had her own reasons for sending us after Dr. Hoffman, huh? Hmm. Sergeant Brooks? Would she really have betrayed the Resistance like that? Or maybe she is the one. Major Vargas is on the up and up. I, 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 I just shoot people. I, I don't... This whole political scheming, beyond me. Take care, everyone.